to get you the latest on this. Uh, Nadia Massey is standing by. Uh, Nadia, just uh, talk us through, if you will, who exactly is uh, Jean Castex? Jean Castex, not a particularly well-known figure in France. In fact, if you weren't an avid follower of French politics, you probably didn't know his name until today. He's never served uh, as a minister. He's the mayor of a small town uh, in the Pyrenees, in the south of France. Uh, and um, now, though, he has been thrust into the political spotlight, um, something, a spotlight that he was, I suppose, coming a little bit more into in the past couple of weeks, because he's really seen to be the person who has, uh, who has been doing the policy for France's easing of lockdown. Lockdown. Uh, he's been known here in France as Mr. Deconfinement, but he is very much a technocratic figure. He's not a bling bling, showy politician uh, in any sense. And I think Emmanuel Macron is hoping that uh, Jean Castex can do some of the uh, heavy lifting behind the scenes now uh, as France tries to work its way out of, uh, of uh, these economic troubles that it's uh, in the midst of uh, during this COVID crisis. Well, Nadia, he may not uh, be bling bling, as you say. He is nonetheless uh, found himself that catapulted, if you will, into the spotlight. He has a key role in uh, President uh, Macron's uh, government as of today. Just talk us through this want or need for Emmanuel Macron to reinvent his government. Yeah, I suppose it may seem, you know, on the surface, a little counterintuitive to uh, have this reshuffle and, uh, and appoint um, Castex, a figure from the centre-right, just after the local elections, where France's population seemed to vote uh, in pretty high numbers for the centre-left uh, and for Green parties. But I think what Emmanuel Macron is trying to do here is to consolidate his power within the presidency, uh, to, to show uh, the French people that those who are asking, for example, for more ecologically focused policies, that he is the man who will get that done ahead of the uh, 2022 uh, election run. He is uh, likely to be running again uh, in that election and he's hoping uh, that he can put himself in the centre stage when it comes uh, to that fight. All right, Nadia Massey, uh, just a, a reminder for our viewers that the, the swearing in will be uh, taking place, we think, in about an hour and a half time. Uh, we'll be checking in with you later, Nadia. For now, though, thank you. Well, let's get you